and here we are in the city of Benin, Edo State to be precise, that is in Nigeria. Shortly, we'll be commissioning this 6 kV or 6 uh, kilowatt inverter. While on the roof, we have about 5,000 watt solar panels, that is 10 units of 500 watt solar panels with a 10 kilowatt battery. But before we install the battery, I just want to show you some stuff because according to SeaWorld, this inverter is solar hybrid inverter and it's an upgrade inverter. That means this inverter has the ability of working with solar panels even without battery. And we will be doing a practical test with this because in one of my video, I did one test with an SMS inverter. So the next test will be with this very 6 uh, kV seawater inverter. And this inverter is their new design. It just came in about a month ago because initially they were using 5.5 kV. They decided to upgrade to you know, 6 kV. So we will be uh, doing a practical test with this with only solar panels and putting on some load to see if this will actually work with solar panels or it won't work So the first thing you have to understand that this inverter is a high voltage inverter Before you on your solar panels, you have to make sure the inverter is off because many people have made this error of leaving the inverter on putting on the uh, Solar panel and the inverter got damaged because high voltage inverter You have to make sure the inverter is off the inverter switch is off before you put the uh, the DC breaker on. So before we do the test, this has a display here, which is also a soft touch. You can see what is coming in, what is going out, and you know if there is any fault or any error, it will display here. And I'm sure most of you will like the display of this very inverter. So the first thing to do, make sure the inverter is off, which is very, very important. You have to be sure the inverter is off or you get the inverter damage. So we'll be putting the DC breaker on now. To test run this with only solar panels if you can see there is no battery bank here because some of you think i'm performing magic so i'll be putting the dc breaker on now so the inverter have sensed that there is power coming in from the solar panels if you can see it's blinking battery that means there is no battery completely connected to this inverter but this is to show you that uh, there is no battery actually so i'll be putting the inverter on now if you can see everywhere is dark but after putting this inverter on we should have some you know brightness around here because the bulbs will come on and everywhere is now bright so it means this inverter is working directly with solar panels with that battery bank though we'll be applying a 10 kilowatt battery uh shortly but i just want to test run this doing a practical test so that everybody will see it they actually meant what they say when they when they say this inverter is solar hybrid uh, a solar inverter that means it can work with solar panels so right now we have this deep freezer on if you can see if there is light on this deep freezer why on the pop we have some lighting points all these things you are seeing are actually working from this inverter i can see this inverter is soft touch i'll be touching it now to see the amount of energy we are consuming and you know to know the amount of energy coming from the solar panels this inverter will show you date it will show you time and it will show you the energy you are consuming and the energy coming from the solar panels. So if you can see, the output is 330 something watts because you have a deep freezer on some lighting point and we are consuming around 300 or 200 and something watts. Then let's see what we are generating from uh, the solar panels. We have about 5% load. So, this is what we are generating from the solar panel, 640 something watts coming from the solar panel. Some of you might, might be wondering, but I say we have about 5,000 watt solar panels on the roof. Yes, we have up to that, but the inverter will not release that right now because it's smart enough to, to, to release a specific amount of energy at a time because what we are consuming is just like uh, half of what is coming from the solar panel. So, if we increase the load, the power coming from the solar panels will also increase that is how the solar uh, this inverter works so for those of you that have an office maybe you close by 5 or you close by 4 pm this is a best recommendation for you you don't need battery bank but you know at times uh, during rainy season you might get disappointed so this is one of the best you can do for your office or for your home if you want to pass some of these heavy gadgets in the afternoon like i said earlier this is a 6 kv 6 kilowatt inverter on the roof we have 5 kilowatts uh solar energy and shortly we'll be installing a 10 kilowatt 48 volt battery